Super Nintendo games are coming to Virtual Console on new Nintendo 3DS. Pilot Wings, Super Mario World, and F Zero are available right now in North America, while Europe's got Mario World and Earthbound, and Japan's got like six or seven games already. Of course. Uh, <laughs> there's lots more coming in the future, including Zelda, Super Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby's Dream Course. You know, we've got a complete list of every game for every region at Gamnesia, so I recommend you check that out if you want the full breakdown. Um, but now it's time for our talking points. Alex, I have a hunch that you've got a lot to say about the price of these games. So, Nintendo, when I've bought. Pretty much every game on this list twice already. And I go to the eShop after you release them on a third platform. It really doesn't make me happy when I see a price that's listed next to it at all. <laughs> this is 2016. I've paid for these games twice. I never have to pay for things twice on PlayStation. I mean, now I do if they release it on PS4. But, uh, you know, I could get things on PSP, I could get things on PS3, I could get things on PS Vita. I didn't have to pay for them twice. Why do I have to pay for things twice on Nintendo platforms? Yeah. People have I mean, been that's... saying this all generation. People were saying it most of the last generation. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have to pay for their games twice when the comp competition doesn't make you do it. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. we've seen them dabble with crossplay a little bit, you know, with, with a few key titles here and there, you know, working in with some indies and things like that. Like uh, the new Mutant Muds, that's got cross-buy. Uh, so I, right. I, well, that's not Nintendo, but well, they, they do ha have cross-buy on the Mario, the mini Mario games. I was going to say, the right. mini Mario games, they've, they've done this before, which makes it even more infuriating that they won't do it for yeah. virtual console games. For games that they've yeah. already made, I might right. add. Right. And you I know? feel like they've done so little here with the new 3DS that these games almost seem more like a consolation prize for people who made the plunge and bought one than they are, you know, a new event for just Nintendo fans. Because, let's be real. You can play Xenoblade, you can play Binding of Isaac, but otherwise there's honestly just about no reason to own a new 3DS. I mean, I guess the download speeds are quicker, it can be nice to control the camera in Majora's Mask, but it doesn't add anything necessary to any games otherwise. And for that reason, we see a lot of people who are feeling really let down by how not worth it their price, their purchase of, you know, what? 220, 240 bucks even was. So to charge another $8 for every single game just seems callous, you know? Especially considering that these games are already available on Wii U and that the unified account system is coming before the end of the month. So what they should have done is held this off for just like a week or whatever while they launch their new account systems and then use this as an opportunity to introduce cross buy for the virtual console. Absolutely. Because people are sick of paying these same prices over and over and over again. And this this is just one more major event that you're holding, Nintendo, that takes that for granted. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the, the My Nintendo thing because it this is a really bad look for your transition to a new account mm -hmm. system. It's like two weeks away, tops. Like, what are they thinking? This, will, this is especially That's going to be a bad look if NX doesn't mind supporting pretty much everything I've ever bought out the gate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, that all said, I am stoked that you can play the Super Nintendo games on the new 3DS. I don't know if I'm actually going to end up buying any for all the reasons we said above. I feel like I'm a sucker and I'm going to buy Earthbound eventually. <laughs> right. Yeah, I feel like Super uh, Metroid yeah, and Donkey Kong will. Country are the ones I most want to play on a handheld. Yeah, I think Super Metroid, maybe, uh, probably Donkey Kong Country too. Um, I, I think I might make the splurge on, but I don't know. Um, it's a lot more money than it's worth for how many times I've played these games yep. and how many ways I already own them. But um, at least conceptually, it is exciting. So I do like that. Yeah, I don't think most of these games haven't even been available on handheld in their sort of emulated form before. So, yay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.